the guys, I'm sorry for the absence and the delay in the videos. Um, but I'm here today and we're going to start talking about once you become a prison officer, what are the different roles of a prison officer. It will be a series of mini videos, each video will be a certain job that a prison officer does. It's just really, I know the, the videos about how to pass the assessments and all that kind of stuff, they are popular, but I feel like it'd be great to give you an insight of all the different type of jobs and job roles you can do as a prison officer. So this is Liam Oscar, thanks for tuning in, hope you enjoy. So the first kind of job role that every officer will have to do is the bread and butter of being a prison officer, and that's a landing officer. Um, when you get into it, people call people might call you a landing rat. That's if you really like working the landings. Now, as a landing officer, it's the first kind of job role you do when you when you know you meet your team. You'll be assigned a landing. So depending on how big the wing is, you might have the ones landing, twos, threes, and maybe even a fours landing, like so four story high wing, and you will be assigned one of them landings. So you could be on the, the ones landing. So what that entails is on that ones landing, you're completely responsible for all of the prisoners on that landing. So what, what I mean by that is in the mornings, this is dependent on what jail that you go to, um, what category jail it is. Some prisoners that go to education or go to work, you'll have a list of them prisoners. So you will unlock them prisoners and then say that again to education and then you'll tick them off that you've unlocked um, all these all these lads or you know unless you're in a female state and I'll go off to education and then you'll tick off all the lads that are going to go to to work then all the prisoners that are left at a, a certain time, you will then unlock the prisoners for them to um, have their kind of domestic period where they can have showers. Basically, they're, they're going to be socialising with, with the other prisoners on the on that landing or on the wing. Well, that's kind of a rough eye, rough idea how your day gets started as a landing officer, and then you're basically then responsible for that landing in terms of any queries the prisoners might have. If you see something that just doesn't look right on your landing, it's kind of down to you to adjust that situation. Also, if a prisoner on your landing is on a book where, I don't want to give the actual terminology for it, the prisoner is kind of, is feeling low in mood in the, the they self-harm a lot or you're worried about them you can put them on a book and this book is just about the, the welfare and if you've got a prisoner on your landing that's on one of these books it's down to you to fill this book out and that's basically saying it, that prisoner might be on i don't know say one observation is an hour so every hour you have to observe that prisoner see what he's doing and write in the book the time that you saw that prisoner. So that's another responsibility you might have. And any prisoners that are behind their door, if they press their bell for attention, it's down to you to go and answer that bell. Now, a lot of wings work as teams, so it's other, other officers might answer that bell for you, but ultimately that request is your responsibility. A few of the bits that you do, after they've collected their lunch and after they've collected their tea, you will lock all the prisoners away, and then you have to go round and count that landing to make sure you've got the right number of prisoners. Now once you've done this, say you might have 44 prisoners on your landing, and you cross-check that with a board in the office that should have the same amount of prisoners, and then that gets cross-checked on the computer system so everything matches up. If you've not counted the right amount of prisoners, then it's your responsibility to find out where that prisoner is. Hopefully, he's not escaped. Another role or responsibility of a landing officer is AFCs or responsibility of a landing officer is AFCs. That means accommodation fabric check. So basically at a certain point in the day you'll go in each cell on your landing and then you will just have a look around the cell, make sure there's no damages, nothing's broken 
Uh, nothing that might cause harm to the prisoner, like any sharp screw sticking out, any broken glass. You need to see if the taps and the toilets are working, that kind of thing. And if you do see anything that's broken or damaged, you have to then report it, and the works will come and fix it like a few days later. Also, when you're conducting these AFCs, what you want to be doing is you want to be having a quick scout around just to see if things don't look right or if they, you know, they look like they're hiding something. Like a lot of prisoners brew alcohol, which is not allowed in jail. So you're not doing a self search, but you are in a bit of a scat round just to see if you can see something that just doesn't look right. The landing, being a landing officer, that's your, that's the bread and butter, and that's where you'll learn your jail craft. That's where you'll learn how to interact with prisoners, how to speak to prisoners differently depending on who they are. It's just not like a one size fits all. And I think you really need to do pretty much a full year as a landing officer, at least before you kind of move on into doing other departments or other roles and responsibilities. So that's what you'll probably be doing when you first join the service, once you pass all your tests and you've done all your shadowing, you'll be a landing officer. All I can say is just go for it, ask lots of questions, don't be shy, be confident and you'll be fine. I hope you enjoyed this little mini video. Next week's video is all about being a co-ord, where you coordinate all the movements on that wing where different prisoners are. It's quite a good job, it's an admin based job. I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll enjoy the video and enjoy learning more about the roles and responsibilities of a prison officer. So thanks for tuning in, this is Lima Oscar, until next time, ta -da.